Jake from Zero Res has agreed to come up to Park City and brave my teenager's bedrooms because we're going to do some carpet cleaning, huh, Jake? We've talked about this for a long time. Hey, you need to come to my house. And I finally was like, all right. Let's put, let's put the money where the mouth is. Let's get up there. Let's do this. Let's make it happen. Here we are. Here we are. Here we are. Okay, so my teenagers are not totally clean anyway. And then I have this guy who, um, the Cowboy's 15, and he's had a couple of accidents. When I've been at work, he's come up here, and he's peed in this room a couple of times, which my boys are mad about, even though they don't really take care of the carpet. Well... Who, who's the bigger problem? Is it the is it the teenagers or is I don't it the know. dog? Okay. I don't know. <laughs> no, well, but I mean, I, you've seen this problem before. Probably absolutely. teenagers and dogs. It doesn't matter, right? And and here's the reality: they're going to be safe because we're not going to use any soaps or harsh chemicals, and um, and we're going to get the stuff cleaned up. It's going to look good and it's going to smell good. Okay, Jake, let's come over here. I just want to show you. I don't. I don't know where he peed, maybe like here, because I've cleaned it up and they've cleaned it up. But I mean, this carpet, they spill things all the time. I mean, there's like, I don't even know what this is. Can you even guess? <laughs> probably not. I mean, we, we rely on you heavily, but it doesn't matter, right? Okay, but you could probably take care of it though. Well, we're going to come in and if it is a urine issue, we've got a couple pieces of equipment, a black light that we're going to be able to identify if it is. Um, otherwise, if it's something else, then we're going to be able to figure it out, right? Okay, and, well, and they do like to frequently eat in here, so it could be half of dinner. Who yeah. knows? Up here in Park City, we can, we're eating soups probably often, right? Okay, so we can get those out, no big deal. Okay, so we're going to put you to work and see the before and after of the teenager's carpet. Okay, let's get this taken care of. <laughs> All right, just like about an hour later, and Jake is done with the carpets, both my kids' rooms and the guest room and my room. You did you did find like a small animal, honestly. <laughs> yeah, so we use uh, we, we use an agitating brush machine. We've talked about it before, but this is uh, this is the type of stuff that we pull up out of the carpet. And we talked about your guest bedroom, and I said, hey, there is a lot coming out of your guest bedroom. This is your guest bedroom, right? Yes, it is. I'm guessing that you you vacuum less in here. And your response? I said I hardly use this room, so I don't. I vacuum not a lot in that room. But you said we've talked about before that, that it's a filter. Your carpets in your home, they're filters. So this is the myth debunker, right? Yes. So with carpet, everyone thinks, well, it's not walked on, therefore it's not dirty. Well, your carpet is a filter, and so with that filter, the air that's that's blowing through it is going to collect this stuff. Most of this actually came from that room which oh, is so bizarre. Wow, the really room is. you don't walk on. The room you don't walk so on. So it's, your carpet is not necessarily dirty because you take off your shoes. Your, your carpet is not necessarily, or you don't take off your shoes. Your carpet's not necessarily dirty because you've got messy kids or a pet or whatever else. It's dirty because it gets dirty. It it's, gets a, dirty. it's a Things filter. In exactly. Go into your carpet. Okay, well, my carpets are clean. My sons are coming home in just a few minutes from school, and I cannot wait for them to see. They're going to be so happy. They're going to love it. We've walked around it a little bit, but no chemicals. It's almost dry, even almost you dry. just yep. did it. Yep. Jake, thank you so much. Absolutely. I so appreciate it. We're going to put all Zero Res information on our website, and you came up in a snowstorm, too. You, you come in the snow. We come Rain, in the snow. snow. People get scared. Oh, I don't know. The snow. We can't get our carpets. We got to cancel our appointment. We are in Park City. The the night after a, a big snowstorm sure blew through. So thank you, Jake. We can do it. I'm so grateful. My carpets look so much better. <laughs>